I love Call of Duty, man, the series rocks, but I'll never fall in love with another cod like I did in Black Ops. I am overflow. Let's get on a sniper row. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys? Doing today, first things first about the gameplay, bringing you a 39 to 4 gameplay, I think? I don't know. Either way, playing some Black Ops lately because I like the action in Black Ops, and I'm going to go ahead and cover why I do like the action in Black Ops uh, later on in this video. But first things first, here's what I want to say. Brought back the old intro. For you guys who have been here for a while, you guys know I used to kind of sing rap -a doodle dandy all my intros because you know why singing releases, re it releases endorphins, good feeling chemicals in your brain that help you to be a little bit happier, a little bit more energetic, a little bit more lively. And uh, overall, that's that's actually a proven fact. If you, uh, scientifically speaking, of course, if you uh, sing in the shower, it actually makes your mood a little bit better. So uh, for all you guys who are going to be uh, a little bit grumpy, a little bit grumpy, yo, mm -hmm, go ahead and sing. It'll make you feel better. Is what it is. What's up, flows? Don't you know who's I love? Oh, you. All right, guys. The past couple days here, I've been playing more Black Ops 1 then I've been playing Black Ops 2, and I'm going to let you know the reasoning for that, and I want to know this first. What was your favorite Call of Duty? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, I haven't hit, had a normal commentary hit 300 likes in uh, quite a while, so if you guys want to leave a like, if you go down there and see that it's not up to 300 yet, and you decide to leave a like, I'd really appreciate it, and uh, yeah, that's it. I love you guys. You guys are absolutely beautiful. <coughs> and here's what we're going to be talking about. I don't think that I'm ever going to love another Call of Duty like I love Black Ops 1. For those of you who have been here a minute, you'll know that my favorite Call of Duty is World of War. That's my favorite Call of Duty, but I can say now, at this stage in my life, without a doubt, Black Ops 1 is tied with World of War for my favorite Call of Duty. Um, World of War, I played it a ton. I have a ton of days played on it. Um, you used to play it all the time, but in Black Ops, and I started playing Call of Duty in COD 4, so I, you know, some people are like, oh, your favorite COD is going to be your first COD. Not necessarily the case. COD 4 is amazing. World of War was better to me. And then uh, MW2 was not my favorite. Once they released Black Ops was when I really... Um, Black Ops, there, there's just something very magical about Black Ops. Uh, maybe it's because I played it with a lot of my friends. Maybe it's because uh, it was the first Call of Duty that was out when I started my YouTube channel. I'm not sure, but here's what I want to say I want to give a few things about Black Ops and the reasons why I don't think any other Call of Duty uh, unless they can fix it with Ghost which they're not gonna do because now oh there's the gunship love the gunship um, now they're marketing the game towards you know they, they want it to be action 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 whereas in Black Ops some people kinda criticize it because uh, it was you could go a little bit slower a slower pace in Black Ops you could do that and uh, here's what I have to say about it man I definitely think that for me, I had 20, 20, 30, 35, like 35,000 kills with the sniper rifles. In total, they were my most used weapons. And uh, I sniped a lot. And you know why I sniped a lot? Because every map allowed use of a sniper. Um, if you wanted to use a shotgun, every map allowed use of a shotgun. Let's go ahead and break it down here um, on WMD. You see how I'm sniping on WMD? Uh, I had more than enough long range situations where I could snipe in. But had I wanted to use a shotgun, I could have done just as well with a shotgun because of the fact that look at all the buildings I could have made my way throughout the buildings kind of done it like that and use a shotgun there um, had I wanted to use an assault rifle I wouldn't take the long range distance distant engagements or whatever I would have gone you know maybe around this area here that I'm pointing at maybe around there use my assault rifle and that was a beautiful thing about Black Ops to me it didn't cater to any specific type of um, gun category or whatever for example, in MW3, what, what was the best? Submachine guns were the best, right? Assault rifles, snipers, uh, shotguns were kind of crappy, but other guns really had no place in MW3. Black Ops 2, what guns are the best? The SMGs, again, are obviously the best guns, you know what I mean? Um, and all the maps in MW3 and in Black Ops 2 really cater to the fact that, uh, re really cater to the guys who want to use those closer range weapons it really caters to the people who want to be in your face constantly with all that action you know I when I snipe in Black Ops 2 if I can get a good traditional sniping game and I can kinda camp it out using my sniper um, then that's really lucky because most of the time the character models are so fast the maps are so small it's so uh, geared towards SMG guys that um, you know I can't set up and snipe so I, I got quick sober do whatever and in Black Ops 1 I just think that the the gameplay was it could be a little bit faster paced, maybe, in certain scenarios, depending on who you're playing against, but I think that the gameplay was perfectly paced. 
I thought the weapons were all really good. Um, obviously, there are some downsides to Black Ops 1, which uh, were Ghost and Second Chance. And to be honest with you, uh, Second Chance didn't really bother me. Uh, and Ghost, there's always been a UAV jammer type perk in every Call of Duty. So there was more use in this game of it, but overall, it was fine. It didn't bother me. It didn't bother me personally, but I know it bothered a lot of people. Um, so yeah, Ghost was a bad thing about it. This should have been called Call of Duty Ghost, right? LOL, JK. And uh, what else was bad? The FAMAS and the AK-74U. But whatever. Some guns are going to be overpowered. That's how it is all the time. I just don't see myself loving another Call of Duty like this. They're not, this was the last Call of Duty to me that seemed like the most skilled players won. You know what I mean? The most skilled players in this game always won. In MW3... The most skilled players didn't always win. They had Dead Man's Hand, you know, Last Stand, stuff like that for really bad players. EMP, uh, support system, whatever. Black Ops 2, do the most skilled players always win? Not necessarily. The, the lag involved, the fact that the maps are kind of geared towards those casual players. And guys who have been longtime fans of Call of Duty, you might like, I mean, I'd say that most of you would agree that, that we can at least agree. Even if you enjoy it, we can at least agree that the maps in the last couple Call of Duties have been geared towards casual players. They've been geared towards players who want to rush, who want to get their games in, have a little bit of an adrenaline rush, and that's what it is. And you know, I don't know, man. Black Ops 1 was just the best Call of Duty. Collateral, lucky kill for the final kill cam there. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Let me know what you think the last great Call of Duty was, or if you think it's yet to come. And also let me know what your favorite COD was. Let's see if we can get to 300 likes. Subscribe if you're new. I love you, and I am over and out.